Cloak and Fang is a two-player worker placement game in which each player is controlling a faction of vampires, vying for control over a small village. The game includes 18 cards. Each player receives four vampire cards, each with a different strength. The village is composed of ten villager cards, six of which will be in play at any one time. There are two important parts of a villager card. The first is their blood power, which determines how many points they're worth when a vampire eventually feeds upon them. The second is their unique ability, which vampires can utilize by charming them. The village is set up in a 2x3 grid, using six randomly dealt villager cards. Players decide who will go first, then take turns playing their vampires adjacent to villagers around the outside of the village. Depending on their position in the village, villagers will either have one or two adjacent spaces where vampires can be played. When a vampire is played adjacent to a villager, the villager becomes charmed, and their unique ability can be used. It's important to note that when a vampire is played on a villager that already has another adjacent vampire, it must have a higher strength than that vampire in order to successfully charm the villager. As an example, let's say I play a vampire on the merchant villager. There's already a vampire of strength 3 adjacent to this villager, so I'm going to play a vampire of strength 4. The merchant is charmed, and I can use their ability to swap the positions of two other villagers. Once each player has played all their vampires, it's time to feed upon the populace. Each villager is fed upon by the vampire adjacent to it, and that vampire's owner receives a number of victory points equal to the villager's blood power. If there are two vampires competing over the same villager, only the highest strength vampire feeds. If both competing vampires have the same strength, the villager is killed in the conflict, and neither vampire feeds. Note that some villagers have negative blood power and will reduce your final score when fed upon. After feeding, the player with the highest number of victory points wins and has established themselves as the dominant vampire faction. Thanks for watching.